Well, good morning, day one. My name is Brent McFadden. I'm one of the pastors, as Caleb said. And today I wanted to share with you uh, what we did about a month ago for Serve Dallas. Um, Serve Dallas is a one-day event where we, uh, all our people went out and to love on the Dallas a little bit. Uh, we partnered with our local uh, Serve Ministries here uh, and uh, our people really got hands-on experience to what our local mission partners do every single day. Some of the partners included Mana House and Union Gospel Mission. We also went to Exodus, which is uh, a ministry that serves uh, previously incarcerated women. And then we also uh, worked with Involve for Life, which is a, a ministry that was started right here at First Baptist Dallas and is a pro-life organization. That day, we also um, put together a thousand care packages for uh, the Dallas police officers and kids came up and uh, were able to write thank you cards for the, ki uh, for the police officers and they had their favorite Bible verses on it and it was awesome. Uh, many of you don't know, but right across the street, um, we have a silent friends ministry and uh, we went and repainted their entire worship room and it looked incredible. And then we also went out to our uh, local uh, mission church uh, down south uh, to Lake June Baptist Church, and we went there, and we redid their whole landscaping on their front side of their church, and then we also uh, redid some decking and uh, added a wheelchair ramp as well. So it was, a, it was a great day. Our people served. I tell you what, our people can serve now, and that's what our church is about, and so we thank you uh, for that. Uh, speaking of, a lot of people have been asking me, Brent, when can we do that again? I want to serve more. And I tell you what, we're going to have three opportunities this year to serve for Serve Dallas. So the next one, go with me if you can, open up your phones, mark the calendar for August 18th. It'll be our next Serve Day. It'll be from 9 to 2. And we'll have uh, these ministries and a whole lot of other ministries as well that we're planning where you can come and serve. And so we hope that you would join us. Church, I just want to thank you again for all you do uh, in serving uh, our community and also for giving to Mission 1-8, Fuel the Fire, which is the reason why we're able to do what we do here at the church. So thank you again. Well, now I'd like the, the ushers to come forward as we prepare to take the offering. And you guys feel free to use the kneelers in the, in the front of the pews as we go to the Lord and thank him for all the things that he does in our life and in our church as well. Father... We thank you so much for this time together. We thank you that we are a church that loves to serve, that has a heart to serve, that goes out beyond these walls and goes to people that we don't know, that we've never met before, and we serve them, and we want to bring them in union with you through the gospel, Father. And so we thank you that we're that type of church. And as we prepare to take the offering, we just thank you for all you do in our lives and, and as we reflect and uh, remember that everything we have is a gift, that's what your word says, that everything we have in our lives, the money that we have, the job that we have, the relationships, the family, it is all a gift from you. And Father, we, I just pray that we can be reminded of that and that we can honor you with everything that you have given us. Father, I pray that you would take the offering today and multiply it in ways that only you can do. And Father, that you would continue to bless this church and bless our efforts as we go out and we reach our city and nation and world for your kingdom. We thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. <laughs> 